capture GIS data using GPS and importing this data, this GPS points, in the QGIS environment. So first is, if you are using an iPhone, all you have to do is go to Utilities and click Compass. If you click Compass, you can see a compass, of course, and of course, the GPS coordinates. If you are using Android phone, all you have to do is search in your Google app. All you have to do is to install any app that would generate or that would give you GPS coordinates. Points. I'll give you an example of that. However, if you have GPS receiver, then that would be good. So you have now your compass for iPhone users, and you have now your GPS locator app in your Android phone. Now, we will be using our phone as a GPS receiver. We will focus on the trees that you can find in your barangay or town. So on your field notebook, you have to write down the position, both longitude and latitude. And of course, you have to indicate at least three attributes. These attributes should be the name of the tree, the local name, and the scientific name. If it's fast growing or slow growing, and the third attribute is the diameter at breast height of each tree or point of interest. As we all know, in getting a GPS coordinates of a certain point of interest, as much as possible, there should be no obstacle. You should be able to see the sky. When you look at the sky, there should be no obstacle for you to have a better signal coming from the satellites. In which, since we are only using our mobile phones, it is okay if your location is not exactly accurate so don't worry and then after collecting those the point of interest which, are, which is your fees and the three attributes you have to encode your collected POIs or point of interest which is your fees that's the field data collection part let's go now in importing GPS points in the QGIS environment. Open your QGIS to import GIS points from the spreadsheet to QGIS. You have to save your spreadsheet to comma separated files or .csv. Okay, let's go now in importing GPS points to QGIS environment. So of course, first, for you to be able to import the GPS points to the QGIS environment, you have to save the spreadsheet to comma-separated values or .csv format. Now, open your QGIS software. Launch your QGIS. So on the menu tab, go to Layer, Add Layer, and then Add Delimited Text Layer. On the Create Layer from a Delimited Text file, click on the Browse button, and then select the CSV file where the GPS points were saved. Of course, you have to make sure um, to select the correct file format, which is .csv. You also have to check the geometry definitions, which is the point coordinates. And of course, the column where the longitude, which is the X, and the latitude, which is the Y, were recorded. Hit OK to proceed. So the imported GPS points should now be displayed, as you can see here, on the QGIS map view window. The next thing that you have to do, you have to label the point of interest for your trees. So by doing this, you have to click Layer and then click Labeling. On the Layer Labeling settings, check the Label this layer with option, then select the column that you want to use as a label. Scientific name of the tree. If you want to group them as a fast and slow growing piece, you can also do that. Or if you want to look at which piece has a bigger diameter at breast height, you can also do that. But in this time, what I want to see is the name of the tree, the local name of the tree. So you can actually do 
or you can actually explore more options for the labeling layer in the QGIS. You can have the background of your text, you can have the color of your text, you can have a text buffer and all those forms that you can play with it, go for it. So as you can see in my screen, the GPS points of the point of interest or the trees can already be seen with a corresponding label. So next is you have to save your GPS points as ESRI shape file. To do that, you have to go to the layers and then save as. Of course, on the save as vector layer as window, make sure the format that you will be choosing is the ESRI shape file. And of course, the save as option where you want to save the file. Then click OK. And then for you to save your QJS project, you have to click project and then save. Alright, super easy, right? So that's how you can capture GIS data and import it in our QGIS environment.